last few weeks, customers left a Northwest Omaha restaurant feeling full. But tonight, the workers who serve them have an empty feeling about getting paid. Mike McKnight meets them at the American table for a six on your side investigation. Promise $9 an hour head waitress Terry Fitzor is tired of waiting on an estimated $1,500 in unpaid wages. There's been days when we put in 12, 14 hour days. And pay? None. Just all we've been getting is tips. The American table is empty and workers fed up with the owner. He told me he wasn't going to pay me for my two months that I worked here until he started making money. And I told him that's not going to work. A sign taped to the door says, due to medical issues, we are closed. Closing time about 10 days ago, employees say the owner complained of being ill and had to go to the hospital. They say they haven't seen him since. Secretary of State records list an owner employee's claim is a silent partner. They say another man with a hard to pronounce name, simply called Mike, really operated the restaurant. Six year side tracked down his cell phone number. The mailbox is full. Plumber George Bang says the American Table owner paid about $1,600, but still owes him almost $5,000. Even if he'd call and say, hey, George, I have health issues, that's one thing. But to not even call or let anybody know. Employees say they checked hospitals, but couldn't find their boss. I'm not buying it at all. Open just a month, the restaurant had been attracting loyal customers. He had closed up already? Chef Mike walks away hungry for an answer why, and when he can expect the wages he's owed. You try to help a person open up a place and they just get you. At 88th and Maple, Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. The restaurant had about 15 employees. Several called the Nebraska Department of Labor. And once a complaint is filed online, state labor investigators will track down the employer and could issue citations that carry a fine. But getting back wages won't be easy and the workers might have to file in court.